Greetings, YouTube. In my six years now, give or take a few weeks, days, months, whatever you want, uh, of doing videos for this community, I have never been quite as excited to record a topic as this one because it impacts so many people. And I'm not saying it impacts everybody because there are people who uh, apparently just did not want to purchase the um, special Morbius stamp double track access paths. Just didn't want to do it. So this screen is not going to be relevant to them. But I'd like to think that it's relevant to most people watching this. And even if it's not relevant to you, you can at least understand what's going on behind the scenes with this video. Because there was actually a little bit of a debate between is it better to go with the six star than the seven star. Now on paper, that sounds crazy. And I'm sure this video will not age well as seven star uh, six stones and awakening gems eventually make it into the economy of the game. And as we move toward seven stars being the quote unquote new six stars. Keep in mind though, that that's why Kabam made Ascension for six stars such a big deal because they said literally in their live streams, they want six stars to remain as relevant in three years as they are now. And they know that they need to be the equivalent of like rank three, seven stars for that to happen. So that is uh, really important information to know. In the meantime, right now, on October 13th, 2023, we do not have seven star awakening gems or six stones. So this is one of those genius moves by Kabam to motivate people to take matters into their own hands. Because if there were seven star six stones or awakening gems in say event quest or side quest or even coming out for sure in the next chapter of act eight, that would be where players focus is. But we know that's not the case because we've already seen those rewards leaked. Uh, when I say leak, it's not really a leak if it's by Kabam, but you know, it's a preview of things with 8.3. And now when you go to 8.3, you still don't see <laughs> the rewards coming because of course that content is not in the game yet. But the bottom line is Kabam is forcing players through different means and particularly through buying units and spending units to consider two options. When the Morbius specifically featured Paragon Crystal comes into the game, suddenly more people are going to want to try to get a six-star version that chose the seven-star or best case scenario, try to awaken their seven star. Because Morbius is one of those champions that does incredible damage without being awakened. I knew nothing about him, took him yesterday into Realm of Legends, and immediately was doing, uh, in some cases, almost 200,000 damage with a rank one seven star. I know people who have said that they took their uh, Morbius to rank two, and they've seen damage well above 200,000. That's amazing, and that's unawakened. But he does gain utility, like so many champions in the game, from being awakened. But you have to have the motivation to actually purchase these crystals. And most of the time, if you're like going for Werewolf by Night, for example, I have him as a 3 and 4 star. I hope to get him as a 5 star with arena rewards. But even if I get him as a 5 star, probably not even going to rank up that 5 star. I'll just leave him there unless I need some cheap level up points. So... I don't have the same motivation to go after this crystal as I do the Morbius crystal and then the Morbius crystal after where he becomes the sub-featured champion technically is going to have better drop rates. Statistically speaking, we've kept track of that on this channel for years. And yes, it does seem like the sub-featured is a little bit easier to get than the featured. I'm not saying I'm going to throw 60,000 units at the sub-featured crystal because awakening a seven star is not worth emptying out my units, even though my subscribers and uh, viewers will comment, throw all your units at it, see what happens. And I think, man, that sounds like the worst idea of all time that uh, I get why people want me to do it, because if it's not your units, might as well watch them burn. But that's just not how I operate. Uh, I do operate, though, with the same level of motivation to potentially awaken champions that I already have uh, that other people do. And my Morbius is not going to go to rank two anytime soon even though I know that's the tempting thing to do. 
because there are still champions that are six stars that take less items to use than ranking up a seven star that I'm going to focus on first. For example, I would rather take SIG 200 rank 4 Falcon to rank 5 than I would taking Morbius to rank 2. Now you might disagree with that, and that's fine, but that's how I structure the needs of my roster. But then again, if we do uh, special sales for Cyber Weekend that include a rank 1 to rank 2 rank up Jim Crystal, and I land on Science... I'm going to take Morbius up as my first uh, rank two science champ since I took Hulk to rank two. And he would go up before Void or Joe Fixit or Titanium. So that would be the scenario in which I take him up, but I wouldn't save individual resources for him at this point. Maybe I'll be convinced later, but today as it stands, not so much. So that is my uh, feedback. I think Kabam was truly acts of genius for doing this and they're motivating players to potentially spend more units than usual on those crystals where he's the featured and or sub featured champion so kabam really smart marketing keep it up bring this back again next year you've got a hit on your hands and if it's not broken don't fix it